Oh, that one didn't take me to... Okay. Uh, Idleshire. So next week we can see if we can get a Hull Breaker or Lost City of Andapur, but... Not time to do them this week. Uh, okay, let's see. Good stand to get a new neck piece. Oh, there's also something else I have to do here. Estonians ring is the secondary than what I have. There. Okay, level increase. Uh, and then. What do you want this week, Zoe? Carthen Souvenir, looks like... Three of those? We gotta do our custom deliveries for the week. Souvenir component. We're going to need six of them. Let's go. Got it slightly better. That was without a single useful proc. Ah, got it up to that tier this time.
better that time. Okay. This is round one with Slowy. Stunning. This is 118. It's the mid range. Absolutely stunning. Oh, we leveled up. Oh, that's also 118. Cathas Highlands are home to all sorts of treasures of coolest or beauty. The wealthy patrons. Costa del Sol are sure to pay a good price for something this exotic and enticing. Welcome back, Basil. Look, why this is lovely. My customers will be overjoyed to see something so beautiful. Can't thank you enough, Archon. Thanks to your hard work, so he's practically swimming in souvenirs from the Highlands. I can just see the smile in Master Gregoruju's face and the gill flowing freely from his coffers. Tee hee. What? You have a lot of ideas. That's a good thing. Souvenirs you brought back from Carthus have been selling, like, er... I don't think it sells a lot. Master Gurguruja and his friends at Costa Los Sol say that just gazing at them is refreshing as a cold breeze on a hot summer's day has been pouring in day and night, left and right. But that's not all. Now that our finances are under control, I can finally buy the books and writing implements I've had my eyes on for so long. After all, Zoe can't very well watch over them forever, can she now? I must help them cultivate their minds so that one day they can strike out and earn their keep on their own. Zoe was never cut out being more than a humble merchant, but their future is just full of possibilities. Can't let them down. And to think, that not long ago I was worried that I wouldn't be able to pay next month's rent. Just look how far we've come. And it's all thanks to you, Archon. Sylvie so thanks you from the very bottom of her heart. Okay, I think I'll treat myself to a fresh bowl of pineapple pudding. Freshly made three days ago, that is. Have to make it last, you know. Anyhow, I know you've had, you're doing the hard work, but even I deserve that much, wouldn't you say? Oh, thank you. The last bowl I had was left over from last month's batch, and it was somewhat lacking in the smoothness one generally associates with pudding. I almost thought I'd crack a tooth. I actually cracked one, of course. See for yourself. So we smile is as cute as ever. That ah, one tooth that's slightly out of place only adds to the charm. At least that's what Rowena always, Rowena always told me. Don't you think so, too? Really too sweet? I'll let you in on a secret. From leftover or pudding to stale flatbread, no matter how hard a piece of food gets, you can always soften it up by soaking it in hot water. Important life lessons. From Zloey. Of course, it doesn't taste as good then, but at least it's easy on the jaw. And we all have to make sacrifices, right? At least that's what I tell the children when I have all I have for their supper is day-old porridge. Satisfaction up! You are now a patron of the orphanage. Still much work to be done before the finances of Menfina's arms are stable. To that end, Soliapa, it's a new favor to ask of you. How far Menfina's arms has come, from teetering on the brink of bankruptcy to clinging oh so desperately to life, we now find ourselves this close to achieving our dream of actual stability. It's all thanks to you. And me. And our clients, of course. And the children, too. What were we talking about again? Oh, that's right. So we set our sights higher and higher in search of our biggest client, yet you'll never guess who it is. Give you a hint. 
What begins with a mmm sound and rhymes with Aelstrom? Give up? I'll tell you. The Maelstrom. It literally just said Maelstrom. But, but. Kind regular here at the Hard Place told me that the Admiral's planning to hold a massive war game of sorts. Doesn't that sound fun? And kind of scary. But fun! Anyhow, the orders are looking for all the equipment they can get their hands on. Cannonball... Cannons? Cannonballs? Or more cannons? I have a list around here somewhere. Anyhow, I'm sure you can see where this is going. If you could procure for me a healthy stock of top-of-the-line naval material, I can guarantee you we'll be positively swimming in gill. But hopefully not drowning. Did Slay mention that she can't swim? But where were we? Oh, of course. I have written up a brand new register of items for you to procure. You'll take a look, won't you? Remember, it's not just Slow who's counting on you. We must think of the children. Do, do, do. What do you want, Slowy? What What are we making now? Maelstrom material. Okay. Well, first up, Archon needs some better weaver gear. Okay. Scrip. 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 Scrip exchange. After a skip gear, 60, let's see, we are at 519, grab our needle and spinning wheel, it's the full set there, besides these down at the bottom, so we're going to need two rings, but we can get one right now. Go ahead and make and uh, get the stuff for Maelstrom material. Oh, it's three per. Okay. Good lord, that almost finishes it by itself. You're kind of dumb if you don't do that. Okay, we'll make the other one. That was a lot of strong procs. That was me not paying attention. We'll go for that. Okay, I need three more Maelstrom L components. Let's go ahead and make the last one of these, and hopefully, we don't make the same mistake we just made. I forgot we get that now. Oh, 
Oh for three, good lord. Oh for three and a sixty percent chance. That's just rude. in these three. Up in the alchemical potations, rations. The Admiral needs all the supplies she can get, and this should serve quite nicely. Let's take a closer look. Oh, Archon, it's absolutely stunning. It's so stunning, it's a shame I have to sell it. But I will make the ultimate sacrifice for the children. Stunning. Or stunning. Yep, we are just stunning today. As hard as ever, I see. Whatever would Zoe be without you? Out on the street eating stale flatbread and month old pineapple pudding, that's where. Still, don't forget to give yourself a rest from time to time. Can I interest you in a bowl of pineapple pudding? <laughs> I think it's rotten yet. And that's capped out for the week. So I am just going to see how many of the accessory slots I can fill. Maybe all of them? Yeah. They have cat grathers and crafter scripts separately. That is. Much, much better weaver gear. You're in great shape going forward. And you can, you saw the difference it made. We're basically able to max out the collectibles now. But let's go talk to Ishtola. Talk to Ishtola. Oh, Archon, it is good to see you. I confess I had assumed your business in Axe Shrine would detain you longer. Did your meeting with Vodoff near go well? So well as can be expected. She must discuss Ceramic's proposal with Freys Vulgar, of course. But she seemed admirable to the suggestion. Where's Charlene Guess? Has she arrived yet? She has. When I explained that you would be joining us, she asked if you might use the intervening time to explore. Agreed to meet her outside on Fretbridge. We should be on our way. No! Get a meter. It's very important. Sorry to have kept you all waiting. You need not apologize. We arrived but a moment ago ourselves. Pray, allow me to introduce Kral, who has recently come from the Charlian motherland. She has Kral, generously Kral, offered Kral, to assist Kral. us. 
Oh, please, think nothing of it. I want trip to Eorzea was long her overdue. hoodie so much. You must be the warrior of light. Yes, you certainly do look the part. <laughs> A pleasure to meet you at last, sir. And who is that I spy but young Alpha No Levy you himself? I dare say someone's grown an ill more too in my absence. Or are those lifts in your boots? We, um... <coughs> Miss Cryle and I met at the studium years ago. I shall forever be indebted to her for her sage guidance. It was no small task keeping him out of trouble, believe you me. The youngest ever to enter the studium, him and his sister, 11-year-old prodigies. Suffice it to say, social graces were not among his list of talents. Striding up to his seniors on his first day, head held high. What was it he said again? Probably something Thank you, arrogant as all hell. No, no, Kryle, tell us. For what? I haven't finished yet. Would you care to attempt a more dexterous deflection? Which one are you carving into a pumpkin? Mayhap we should save this delightful conversation for a more fitting occasion, when pressing matters do not demand our undivided attention. A bit much, but better. I can tell you have been putting your skills to use here in Eorzea. Henceforth, I trust you will dazzle me with your eloquence at the first time of asking. Right, on to more pressing matters. Finding Minfilia and the other missing Scions. Smoke could be an interesting one to do. I gather you have new information to share with us. A new approach, actually. Tataru recounted the tale of your escape, and it gave me an idea. Simply put, assuming Thancred left some manner of trail when you whisked him away, as is almost always the case with teleportation magics, I am confident I can find and follow it. Nope, nope, I know which one I'm doing. I know exactly which one I'm doing as a pumpkin. What are you waiting for? The wherewithal to do it. The fact is, my abilities aren't quite up to the task. Not in themselves, anyway. If I had Master Matoya's crystal eye, on the other hand... Just a second. Then let us all call on her forthwith. I think it best to explain your plan to her in person. October 26th.
Yeah, that one's going to be an interesting one, but it, it really does... It screams doing it that way. I've just got to figure out how to get... How to get the cat inflection on it, but besides that, if I'm going to do any one pumpkin carving, I'm just going to need to like study cat size. say we were headed for a cave, did you not? Because I certainly don't see a cave nearby. Is Master Matoya meeting us on the way or something? Uh, you're not familiar with Master Matoya. Okay. stories of Master Matoya. Some quite fattering, others less so. Just a shirt. They are all true. This way. Have care where you tread. Trouble I smell? Or did you forget to wipe your boots on the way in? Forgive us, Master Matoya. We will be sure to wipe them on the way out. And may I say how glad I am that age has not yet deprived you of your senses. Ever so quick witted, aren't we? To the detriment of your manners. Well, out with it then. What do you want? Pray, allow me to introduce myself, Master Matoya. I am Cryo, of the students of Baldessian. I hope you will excuse our unannounced visit. Baldessian, you say? Ah, oh, yes. The old coot set up shop on the Isle of Val, didn't he? Regrettably, our order's headquarters and the Isle itself were obliterated by a magic of immense power. I have the blessing of light to thank for my own preservation. Croyle, you too possess the Echo. Well, yes, of course I do. Why else would she be here? Our order is devoted to uncovering the mysteries of Hydaelyn and interpreting her will, particularly through the study of her gift to us. It was in the course of these studies that I met and subsequently befriended Minfilia. She and I have rather a lot in common. I had no idea. You weren't supposed to. Not that I wanted to deceive you, you understand. But precautions had to be taken. I love Kryle so much. Yes, yes, that's all well and good. But you still haven't told me why you're here. Help. The students of Baldessian are gone, and there is naught I can do to change that. But the signs of the Seventh Dawn can yet be restored, and my dear friend found. Mm. 
You have in your possession an ancient crystal of light. One you call your crystal eye. I believe I can use it to focus my abilities and locate one of the missing scions. And there I was, thinking you might want to make use of my years of experience. Oh, wait here. of this crystal and its familiar radiance. But never did I suspect it was a crystal of light. On the cusp of an umbral calamity, souls blessed with the power of the Echo invariably appear. To aid these, her chosen warriors, Hydaelyn bequeaths to each a slither of her strength in the form of a crystal of light. But as her strength wanes, so too does the potency of her gifts. This crystal, born of an earlier era, is infused with a power far greater than those of this age. You could travel the length and breadth of the land and not find a crystal even a fraction as pure. Its value is beyond measure as are the risks inherent in its use. No two manifestations of the Echo are alike. I, for example, can converse with beings of every shape and size, excepting beasts, contrary to what others would have you believe. Language has nothing to do with it, of course. Rather, I am sensitive to the whispers of the soul, their intent, their very essence, even the traces of which served to guide the elementals to Yishtola. Far-fetched though it may sound, I believe that with your crystal eye, I may be able to pick up where they left off and follow the remaining trail to Thancred. That is, if I have your permission. Poor Sod's not going to find himself. So, as long as you don't drop it or take it out of my sight, you may do with it what you will. Thank you. Oops, I dropped it. Then let us begin. From the Black Shroud, the trail continues to the north and west, towards a mountain, the foot of Som Arl. It was a near thing, but he was not deposited within the rock, I think. The hunters of Tailfeather know those lands well. I say we begin our search there. Anyone got a good raid target? I don't have anyone online right now. I 
to find myself in an unfamiliar wilderness, my first instinct would be to seek out signs of civilization. Early, perhaps, but in his wounded state he may not have wished to risk contact with strangers of unknown allegiance. But even had Thancred chosen to remain in the forest, the hunters would surely have stumbled across his trail. Well, that doesn't strike me as an isolated outpost, though. Merchants and traders pass through reasonably regularly, do they not? In which case, we'll need to provide a more detailed description when we question the locals. Well, I've already prepared several sketches of Thancred for that very purpose. This is impressive. You drew this from memory. The skill I acquired some reasons, some years ago, for reasons... I no longer remember. I propose we split into two pairs. Ishtol and I will inquire at the outlying encampments, while Archon and Cryo question the residents of Tailfeather. Afterwards, we shall regroup near Lost Lothos Foth and share our findings. Assuming there are no objections. Let us be about it. certainly has matured, hasn't he? Hard to imagine he was once a boy who practiced drawing for hours to impress young ladies. Anyway, let's get started. Find you when you're finished making your rounds. <laughs> 